UFC Heavyweight Showdown. one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear this 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall. Weighing in at 252 pounds, fighting out of Dallas, Texas, USA, Shotgun. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, to back your corners, come out flat. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Oh, he slipped well there to avoid the left hand coming back. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Oh, really using his reach advantage there as he lands the punch, DC. Lee's shot is blocked. Oh, and he counters effectively with a jab upstairs there, DC. I know you don't often have the reach advantage, but nice to see him making good use of it in this matchup. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. 
Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Straight right, he misses. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big leg kick lands. That's a big strike right there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. You can't take many of those, you better check. There's no give on that leg kick. Come on, man, I need more punches. Let's Just unable to quite find that range. Big head kick land. He just landed a nice left hook there, I, I feel. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. He's doing a great job. Just misses with the left hook. Nice defense there, huge block. <laughs> 20 seconds to go. Watch knees to the body. And that left hook landed on the button. Five minutes in the books. Right, a lot of tremendous striking action in that last round, DC. I know you don't have a telestrator, but take us through the replay. I mean, I would love to have my telestrator right now. That was a great display of high-level mixed martial arts striking. Both combatants stood toe-to-toe -to -toe and let it all hang out. All right, next round is underway. He did a great job in the previous round, largely untouched. Reminds me a little bit of Dominic Cruz, the former UFC Bantamweight champion. Defense is the primary focus, and that was certainly evident in the previous round. Yes, Dominic Cruz was one of the more brilliant defensive fighters we have ever seen. He did it with footwork. This man tonight has done it with his blocking skills, with his vision and his ability to just not be where his opponent thinks he's going to be. to the body here, that one appeared to be blocked. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique, and before you know it, boom, he lands. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, another head kick lands. He's gotta start blocking these, DC. One more and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. Nice punch by Lee. Big right hook coming, and it's blocked. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. A really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big head kick lands. Back and forth we go here. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Plans the right hand. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Went for the inside leg kick. Oh. 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 Oh.
beautiful level change. Make him think you're going low and then come right over the top with that beautiful overhand. Great punch. Oh, nice right hand. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Nice right. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of never pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. The inside, he's hurt now. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. How about that chin? Oh, nice knee to the body. Strong to quite strong there. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, big elbow. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Nice display of technique by him there on the sidekick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Gotta shore up the defense here, though. Push kick there to the body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Great punch, landed with so much power. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. Beat his leg up. What a body kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Oh, just out of range with that right hand. He's got to whip his hip into that kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Ooh, head kick lands. It hurt. 
big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Nice pitch. Nice sneaky head kick. Lee gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. Watch the shot. Under three minutes remain in round four. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Cable inches right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Just misses with that one. Nice head kick. Oh, a huge block there. Man, doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Nice punch, land. Still a nice body kick, land. Those jabs are landing now. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, so he's in a world of trouble now. They say the great are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. 45 seconds remain in the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. Well, you never like to see a fight end by Dr. Stoppage, but as the round comes to an end, this cut is as bad as it has been all night long, and if they can't stop the bleeding and they deem it to be too bad, this fighter's not going to be afforded the opportunity to continue. All right, so a lot of highlights over those previous five minutes. DC, take us through the replay, if you would. A lot of good action, but punching led the dance. Punching was the thing that stood out to me. That allowed him to take control of the round. Final round, you ready? Here we go, fifth and final round. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one come. His opponent is taking straight punch. He's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. All right, so a knockdown for him in the previous round, and you can just see by his body language how confident he is in the striking realm in this match. And you can see his confidence in his body, but also you can see the effect the knockdown had on his opponent by the way he is approaching this round. Great punch. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut. Kind of I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's more blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Oh, and he caught the kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. He 
turn bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Body kick now by Lee. Just out of range with that left hook. All right, under two minutes now to decide this one. Sneaky head kick. Lee's head kick is blocked. No damage there. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. And he lands it. There, DC, he is officially rocked. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. Whiffs on the right hand. Big kick land. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint tonight. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 49-46, 50-45, and 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce 